My two Satoshis, this my two Satoshis. Tune in and get the latest and greatest from stacking Toshis. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's your boy Crypto Blood. It's my two Satoshis. Hope everyone's doing well out there. It is November 5th, 2020. Shout out to my man. <laughs> He's always hit me with crazy joints. This one's from my man John Default, one of my YouTube premium members. I don't know where he pulled this one out of. Jin learn Chinese. Wow, where is Jin nowadays? A rapper? I don't know. I remember him from BET Freestyle, whatever. He was on the Freestyle BET show or something. I just remember this was a long time ago. Shout out to John Default for the song request. And what's good? I am back in the studio. Hope everybody's doing well out there. I'm going to be doing a follow-up live stream probably tomorrow night just to give everyone uh, an opportunity to just vent, talk about this crazy election. It is just get like 2020 is just a movie. It really is a movie. I can't wait till it's over. So we'll talk about the presidential election and the results and polls. And here in Michigan is really uh, kind of some shady stuff going on. You had 130,000 votes given to Biden in the middle of the night from a computer glitch, they said. 100% of them went to Biden. I don't know. We'll see. But Trump is uh, contesting, I think, PA, Michigan, Nevada. To me, it just, I know he's probably right, but it's just, I don't know how this is going to gonna pan out, man. This is historic to see, first of all, this many people vote. Secondly, this many mail-in ballots. We've never, we've never had this. So, you know fraud is very easily done with these mail-in ballots. And we'll have to see what happens. But we'll talk about that tomorrow on the live stream. I may have a special guest from Australia down under. He may call in and chime in on his take on things. He's an expat. So, it'll be interesting to see what he thinks and what, um, you know, what Australia is talking about and how they view the whole election thing going on. But today... We talking crypto, Bitcoin, going ham. We already knew that was going to happen, right? I told you guys way back in October that once that broke, that trend line, that pennant, I should say, once we broke above that long-term pennant, it was over. So we're going to talk about where I think we're going with Bitcoin next. I actually told Raul Powell, which is the uh, founder of Real Vision, he put a tweet out a few weeks ago saying that we will see $20,000 Bitcoin or all-time highs sometime in 2021, first quarter of 2021. I said, no, bro, I'm sorry. It ain't going to be that late. It's going to be way sooner than that. We're going to go over my response to his tweet here in a second as well. But also, in a neat tidbit, 97% of Bitcoin addresses are now in the profit, in the green, due to this rally. Is this a bullish signal for us or a bearish I'll give you my two Satoshis on that. Also, an Ethereum user spends $9,300 in fees to send $120 via MetaMask. Listen, I want you guys to really pay attention because this almost happened to me. I don't know what had, this was during the whole DeFi craze. I was trying to, you know, push through uh, purchases to on, on the DEX, on Uniswap. Somehow, and I'll show you how to fix this. Well, maybe not show you, but tell you how to fix this. Sometimes MetaMask has the wrong default GUI amount. And if you have that amount in your wallet, you will literally spend too much, an exorbitant amount of, uh, of dollars and fees to transact on the blockchain with that, to you know interact with that smart contract. That happened to me almost, almost happened to me. It was like 18, 1900 dollars. And I had that money in that particular wallet. So it would have definitely taken it and you know push through what i was trying to do was basically buy a measly DeFi token uh that should have cost no more than 25 30 bucks at that point but we're gonna go over this article you know i'm gonna reiterate you gotta make sure you look at those fees before hitting that submit button also we've got civic decentraland or mana and district ox now available on coinbase decentraland is one i've been paying attention to since they actually came out and never grabbed any may have to reconsider but all three articles coming up on today's episode of my two satoshis let's get it if you guys find these types of videos informative make sure you like share and subscribe and click that bell to receive more videos like this and before we get started yes pure vpn is still having the 62 percent off yearly plan after the trial promo 
So get over there. It is very cheap right now to sign up. I think it's like 99 cents for the first seven days and then like 49 bucks after that for the entire year. So check them out. I have a link in the description below. You definitely want to take advantage of this opportunity because they are one of the fastest VPN providers with over 2,000 servers across 140 countries. And one of the great benefits of a VPN is not only your security, right? Again, I use it every time I travel, even at home, I use it on all of my computers. But in addition to that, you're able to get content that you normally wouldn't get with let's say Disney Plus or Netflix or even Amazon Prime because you can jump onto different regions and act as though you're coming in streaming from those countries. So you get additional content that's only specific to those countries. So that's great as well. Get over there, purevpn.com, link in the description below. So we've got this heat map today. Of course, all green, wouldn't expect anything less than that. I mean, Bitcoin at one point, what I think was at 15,300. It's currently had a slight pullback, trading at 14,964 bucks. It's up 6.6% .6 today. Ethereum is up 2.4%, trading at 413 bucks. Litecoin up 7.5%. Wow. Wonder what's going on over there. Shout out to my Litecoin fam. Trading currently at $58.80. Pretty much a green day for most of your coins. So all of you should be happy for the most part some higher than others snx is up 15 percent. that's great but overall everyone should be happy but what you need to understand and i actually put a tweet out back on october 27th and I it was a reply to what raul paul said again great intelligent guy founder of the real vision network he said there are literally only two resistance levels left on bitcoin's chart 14,000 and then the old all-time high of 20,000. I fully expect new all-time highs by early next year at the latest. And my reply was, Raul, you mustn't know the power next year, no, next month. And we are now in November, and I think we may see $20,000 Bitcoin by the end of November, for sure by the end of this year. End of December, we're gonna have definitely touched 20,000 what happens from there who knows my personal thought is that we're gonna blow right through 20k as the fomo ensues from there you'll have a cool off period but the thing about bitcoin guys bitcoin can really run away from you to the upside and the downside but man there bitcoin can only go to zero but theoretically bitcoin can go to an infinite number to the upside right so i think you're gonna see us hit and pass twenty thousand dollar bitcoin and when that happens, you got to understand the smart money is already in. You saw what MicroStrategies is doing. You saw what Square is doing. They started loading the boat many, many months ago. But when Bitcoin touches 20,000, that's when you're going to get CNBC's, Fox Business, all these other channels come out and say, oh, look, Bitcoin, 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 Bitcoin. And that's when the dumb money is going to start trickling in. And at that point, I think it's going to just push us way past and overshoot the all time high. We will have a correction without a shadow of a doubt, but I think we're definitely going to blow past 20K fairly aggressively. As I've stated before, and I told you guys this way back on July 25th, that once that broke, it was over. The cat was out the bag, and yes, it. it I mean, at that point, we were at around ten thousand dollars, so we're a smooth fifty percent higher from that point. All right, so I think uh, there are no other resistance areas for us to run into. We may have small breathers here and there, but literally, the next goal is nineteen thousand eight hundred and seventy-four bucks, precisely on Coinbase. So that's where I see us going with minor stops in between possibly, but no major pullbacks, uh, at least no major pullbacks. When I say major, nothing below 14,000, I don't think at this point. All right, that is the new floor for Bitcoin. So if you're looking to bid and get back in, you may wanna set your buy limits at 14,000 or just above it. And speaking of Bitcoin, now we have 97% of Bitcoin addresses in the green due to this latest price rally 
Bitcoin is currently outperforming other assets and the continuing price increase is good news for most addresses. This follows this 90% of all Bitcoin addresses currently in profit follows a steady rise in Bitcoin's price in the recent months. If Bitcoin prices continue to rise, even more addresses could be in the profit in the near future. A total of 97% of all Bitcoin addresses are in that range. And this is according to Glassnode. This means that the majority of Bitcoins uh, were bought at a lower price than it's currently set at. Bitcoin is currently on an unprecedented run with today marking its 100th day where the opening and closing price of Bitcoin has been above 10,000. And just for shits and giggles, let's take a look at what the stock market is doing. Oh, look at that. Bitcoin up, Dow Jones up, S&P up heavily today. The Dow Jones actually and, and S&P 500 have been rallying the last two days. So has Bitcoin. And this supports my thesis. And actually, I don't. it doesn't even have to be a thesis. It is fact. We know that there is about a 50, 40% correlation, positive correlation with the equities markets and Bitcoin right now on the month to month basis for the last year almost. All right, you may have some days where it goes lower, you may have some days where they, they break correlation. That just means it's not 100% correlated. That's evident. Like, I'm not even arguing that. I'm just saying that there's a heavily positive correlation with the equities markets as much as we may not want that to be. But according to BitInfo charts, the largest group of Bitcoin addresses, nearly 50% of all addresses, still only hold up to 0.001 Bitcoin. But the question is now, is $20,000 Bitcoin on the cards? And if so, that will put everyone in the green. Yeah, we couldn't have bought higher than the all-time high. That's where we are with things, and we'll see how things pan out. But I think that's positive news. But this one here... The Ethereum user spending 9300 on fees, a typo on Ethereum wallet, MetaMask led to an expensive transfer for one user and they're now asking for help. They are asking miners to give the money back, but they are not required to do so. An anonymous account known as Proud Bitcoiner posted their experience on Reddit, posting a link to the transaction to verify it. The Ethereum user said they erroneously typed in the wrong transaction fee while trading, accidentally spending 23 ETH. Transaction fees are paid in gas. Of course, you guys know that. Numbered in GUI, which is a system that can be unfamiliar and confusing to use for many. But the thing is, he may have typed it in there, but I swear I've had this happen, guys, where the, for whatever reason, the MetaMask default GUI amount was way set way high so i had once a transaction fee of like 1900 dollars. i didn't type anything in there i was just literally trying to make this connection and communicate with this uh, smart contract and it was already set at 9300 so you just gotta make sure when you press that next button that you check the value on your uh, gas fee and what you're willing the max you're willing to pay metamask for some reason the gas limit field will get set really high and then you if you have that money in your account it will charge it but you know this pales in comparison to when a person spent 2.6 million on a, a transaction fee i don't know if you guys remember that one that was all the way back on i believe june 15th as you guys can see here i did i did report on this article that is insane that is absolutely insane. I don't think anybody ever came back to claim that money, which is insane. So just be careful when sending your um, or making transactions over the Ethereum network via MetaMask because again, I've seen it where the gas limit has been set very high by default. It had nothing to do with me changing the input. And lastly, we've got out of Coinbase's blog itself. They have now added Civic, Decentraland, and district ox to their platform so starting today coinbase supports civic which i didn't even really really realize they were still very active with things decentraland and district ox to coinbase.com and in the coinbase android and ios apps cvc and mana are available in all coinbase supported regions dnt however is supported in all coinbase supported regions with the exception of new york state so if you guys aren't familiar with civic oh man i remember trying to get into the civic ico back in the ico days gosh i was out in seattle um on business 
and I was couldn't even pay attention to what I was there for because I was on my laptop trying to get into the ICO of Civic and could never end up getting in there. I got kicked out the queue somehow. I don't know how that happened. I got kicked out the queue. I was waiting for hours and hours and hours on end and did not uh, end up getting in there. But Civic, guys, is an Ethereum token used to power Civic's identity verification protocol. Users who verify their information through Civic can then securely share both their info and verification with service providers, reducing the need to consistently re-verify their identity. And then Mana, of course, you guys should know about Decentraland, but it is a virtual reality platform. Mana can be used to pay for virtual plots of land in Decentraland. A lot of Decentraland um, plots are going for big money on a lot of these uh, NFT platforms like OpenSea. Uh, check them out. And, and many others and so I need to really start paying more attention to Decentraland and getting me some of those plots of land because they're gonna be worth something possibly in the future and then District OX I'm not too familiar with DNT is a network of decentralized marketplaces and communities called districts the token is required for application to the district registry and is used to signal support or disapproval for proposals made by the network participants so let's take a look at the price of these tokens to see if they're uh, was a coinbase effect and it surely was last 24 hours civic is up 40 percent decentraland not so much up only 19 percent and district ox up 133 percent in the last 24 hours so that's a big move for district ox their market cap is fairly low only 8.2 million versus decentraland's at 109 million and civic at 22 million so you see in respect to the market cap which ones moved up the most that's typically how it goes so i'm definitely going to take a look into decentraland and start getting me some mana and buying me some property over there on their platform thought i would let you guys know those are actively trading now on coinbase if you are coinbase users i am not but that's pretty much it for today ladies and gents make sure you guys like share and subscribe and actually Join my Red Pill Discord room because I'm going to start giving away some of these EOS Detroit hats. I got a whole bunch of them. So make sure you guys join for the free hat giveaway. Link in the description below. And shout out again to my man Default in the Red Pill Discord room for the song request Jin Learn Chinese. If you found this video informative, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And click that bell to receive more videos like this. I'm out of here. Ha! Chinese